Hi, I'm Glenn White with Eurosafety. Today, we're going to talk about the Delta NG test. Now, in a previous tutorial, we talked about what the Delta NG gauge is and how it works. But today, we're going to center in on the test that is conducted in the AS350B2. In the B2, we have to test the gauge to make sure it's doing its math properly. Um, as you see on the gauge, we have our test push button. The test push button is utilized in order to do the test. The test is not to tell you something. It is asking you whether it is doing its test properly or it's doing its math properly. So what we do is we hit the test push button and the first thing you'll notice is the needle goes up to zero. It needs to go up to zero, no other place. Then you see 1888. That is a test of all the segments within the gauge and make sure that nothing is burnt out. Then it says dash, dash, dash. Now if it says LL or LH, that means that the temperature probe is not operational. And then the next thing that comes up is a number. Now the question is, what do we do with this number? Well, we have to make sure that the math it just did was correctly. It did a max NG test for the altitude on the ground at the temperature that's on the ground. And it wants to know, hey, am I doing the test correctly? Am I doing my math correctly? So you're gonna to have to go to a chart, which is in section four of your rotorcraft flight manual. Most operators will obviously get a copy of that, laminate it, put it in a cockpit so that you have some reference to it. Nobody's gonna memorize the chart. And you're gonna see if the gauge is operating properly. So let's say that on this particular day, we were at a thousand feet and the outside air temperature is 20 degrees. So we just go across the 1000 until we get to the 20 degree intersection. And we see here it says 101.6. So we are 0.1 different, but we're allowed to be 0.2 different. So in this particular case, the gauge has passed its test. And I found quite a few of them over the years that did not pass, which means the Delta NG reading you were getting was not right. So we have to make sure that we do this test before each single start uh, in this helicopter to make sure the gauge is operating properly. Well, I hope that cleared up any confusion you had with the test on the Delta NG gauge, and we look forward to seeing you in another tutorial.